I talk? Yeah, you start. Okay. Um, to wrap it off uh, quickly, um, I'd like to give a tiny little bit of background on why we had this track um, at the conference. So, I don't know how many here came for this track to the conference or for any of the talks on this track. There are not many people left, but yeah, there's no one left. <laughs> <laughs> so, no. Um, uh, the reason we wanted to do this was to get a little bit of a wider scope to the conference, right? On one hand, maybe to get people here who wouldn't come to a conference just about technology. Um, I think that is in general a good thing, try and, and get people here who are interested in, in technology, but not per se in the hardcore programming stuff that a lot of us do. And the other goal of it was to simply let the people who are or would come to this conference anyway, give them an opportunity to look a little bit beyond the technology specifically that we're working on. So some of the talks here were about, uh, well, Wikidata, um, broadband, free broadband networks. I mean, those are things that are not per se about open source software, but they are things that are related to the spirit of what we are doing, right? They, they explore other areas where the freedom that is central to what we do uh, is relevant to. And I think that in itself is, is worthwhile. Another side to that is also that you can see um, benefits of the technology that we develop uh, in, for example, the Open Relief Project, where our technology is actually helping people. And I think it's really important for us to realize that what we do actually matters to people outside of our own group. I mean, a lot of people in free software say or do this to scratch their own itch. And that's really cool. But I think it's also important to realize that what we do actually matters. I mean, Georg Grief said at some point that we're, as in the free software community, are creating value uh, business for the European Union about, what was it, 350 billion? I mean, that's quite a bit uh, of money. That's quite impressive, you know, for a bunch of people just scratching their own itch. I think it's important for us to realize that, you know, not only as motivation, but also to realize it's, it, it's not just about the code. It's also about the people and about society where we're making a difference. Yeah, I think uh, when when Jos asked me and uh, Agustin to, to host this uh, um, this discussion, I was I was really happy to see that we have such a track because I think a lot of the successful open source projects or open development projects are for this particular group. They do it for themselves. And I think sessions like this help to understand, number one, wh where other, in other areas are these things being used? Maybe what challenges do these people have? Like, as we heard, you know, they, like he had no expertise on, on aero, aerospace engineering, right? But he had this great idea. And in the sense of common collaborating, of, of sharing knowledge, I think it is important that we as engineers, so here I'm talking for, for me and for my engineers, watch left and right and understand what our potential users outside of our direct scope actually uh, use this for and what kind of challenges they have. Um, I'm convinced that if we have more of these sessions, um, there will be more people having this as a thought, not only as an afterthought. When I, when I listen to social media articles, I'm very often smiling and saying, you know, yeah, this is social media, Facebook, my, my girls now do this. Actually, this is a community, much like our community here. Um, but they are all users, they are not developers, right? Somebody built it and they are just using it. So I think for us it's important as developers to better understand our user community. And yes, it's being used in, in really weird ways we would never imagine. And I think there is more work for us to do, not in the sense that we have done a bad job, but I think uh, there's way more open source that can go in many more different areas. We just have to build these bridges. Yeah, there are a lot of people, uh, you know, these days I believe they call them digital natives, uh, but I've also heard the term being used, digital zombies. <laughs> because, yes, they know how to use Facebook, but knowing how to use Facebook, let's be honest, that's not a particularly useful skill. Being able to play a game on a computer doesn't mean you can make a game. Being able to use Facebook doesn't mean you really understand social media, understand the impact. And the impact of those things is really huge. 
you know, Georg was touching on, you know, what you don't understand still controls you. And that's really an issue, I think, becoming in our society. Most people, you know, they are digital zombies that just use this stuff. And they don't really realize that someone can walk around and hack into their pacemaker. Well, okay, the average digital native doesn't have a pacemaker yet. But 40 years from now, they might. And this, this is important. And I think um, a lot of us are actually directly or intellectually working on, on these issues but they might not always see the full scope of it. And it would be nice. I mean, this was just the first time we did a track like this at the OpenSUSE conference slash Linux days. But I really hope to be able to do more of this. And maybe we can manage to get more people outside of our community to come here, uh, not only see what we are doing, but also talk to us about their needs and you know why it matters what we do. Um, I think that would be really a good thing in the future. So yeah, I'm definitely going to try and keep this uh, happening. It definitely can be benef uh, beneficial both sides. I mean, if we, the amount of open source developers is kind of a limited species. Um, there is so many more users out there, and the more contributions, and I'm saying contributions by the users, because not everything has to be code we can get, uh, the bigger our our community actually grows, and and vice versa. The more they actually sense the benefit of being able to talk to a developer to change something to their needs, that's when they realize ah, that's the difference between open source and buying a product off the shelf and just having a hotline. That's just beautiful. It's absolutely true. I think people don't, they just consume. They don't realize. Uh, that's what I mean with digital zombies, right? You don't realize how easy it can be to, to change things. I mean, I think a lot of us actually have had this experience of, you know, the first time you, you submitted a bug report and actually something changed. I mean, you, th that's really an, an interesting, almost exhilarating moment, right? You actually made a difference here. And the first patch you got in, the first package that was submitted. Well, first you get flamed. That's the well, first experience. <laughs> <laughs> that's also a first, might be a little less uh, pleasant. Okay. but. Yeah, these these things really make a difference, I think. And the more people we can give this experience, you know, the more potential contributors we have. Or at least, you know, people, you know, using our software is in itself already beneficial. Even if they don't contribute per se, they're at least exercising their rights on freedom. And that also in itself diminishes the power that of course certain well, big companies have over technology and over software in general. I think that was the idea of the wrap-up, to explain exactly. why and yeah. encourage people to build more bridges yeah, so to the non-technical world. Two things, and um, thanks for coming. And input is really appreciated. I mean, we want to do more of this, and especially also from the speakers, actually. Uh, Ramon is here still, um, and Shane is here. I would really appreciate feedback also from you guys on, you know, Maybe how can we involve your communities in this? You know, can we get people from your communities to 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 get closer to our community? So that would could really make a difference for both. I think we can help you. You can maybe help us. Thank you uh, very much. Thank you very much.